Welcome back to Murder Monday on a Tuesday. Now, yes, I've picked another great story for us all to delve our penis into very firmly and efficiently and effectively. But I've just got to say this one is quite sad. It is a little bit worrying and a little bit concerning um, in a place where I grew up. Well, in the country I grew up, I grew up nowhere near that shithole they call London, and neither should you. Andrew Gosden was 14 years old in 2007. He bought a one-way ticket to London. London. God knows, that would have been expensive. At the age of 14, he ain't buying that shit on his own, my God. It costs you about 50 quid just to walk down the street these days. Anyway, I'm, 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 getting, I'm getting distracted. Just like someone with a massive pair of breasts just walked past and I'm just like, Again, distracted. This guy's a weirdo. He vanished without a trace and hasn't been heard of. The more you hear about the case, the stranger it gets. Full credit to this guy, by the way. I knew about this. Uh, I've got some other things we'll go to, but this, I think, is a really nice little um, thing that you can learn about. Well, on the morning he vanished, Andrew had trouble waking up and appeared more irritable than usual. He left the house around 8.05 and was spotted with a family friend walking through the park towards the bus stop. He withdrew $200 from a nearby ATM. Drugs. Which was nearly all his money. I mean, 14 years old and you got 200 big ones. I mean, fuck me. He like, must have had some mega birthdays, bro. Mega. Anyway, he's gone. You know what I mean? Be, be respectful, Harrison. Where he changed into a black Slipknot T-shirt. Shirt black jeans and took a bag along with his wallet keys and a PSP. He's a real homie. This guy knows what the essentials are. You don't need nothing but a pair of jeans, a t-shirt and a fucking PSP to have a good time, bro. Maybe a bottle of lube, but he might not be at that age yet. By 8.30, he'd left home once more and headed to Doncaster. Dangerous. If you head into Doncaster, 50-50 chance you're not leaving there alive. Where he bought a one-way ticket to London for, th told you, $31.40 outrageous bro this was 2008 he was informed that a return ticket was only 50p more and he said no he was spotted boarding the train now this is the last photo we have of poor little andrew i mean that's just you know there's his slipknot t-shirt i mean he looks like a susceptible little boy doesn't he them glasses aren't doing him any favors i'm sorry mum and dad but that screams kidnap me i'm a young vulnerable kid who likes a psp you know what i mean them glasses should have gone years ago bro if you need glasses you need glasses there's nothing wrong with wearing glasses bro me my eyesight's pretty good but bro them them cc them 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 glasses mate uh you know minus 10 charisma points if we were playing fallout oh uh, but you gain one intelligence the evening the Gosden assumed Andrew was either playing video games in the cellar or doing homework. When they realised he wasn't home, they called the police around 7pm. I mean, 7pm, you know, you got one way or the other, you know, this was 2008, maybe things were a little tighter. I think if I hadn't seen my child since they got home from school and it was, you know, maybe f 5, I'd be like, where the fuck are you, boy? Again, I'm not a parent and it's, it's rude and disrespectful to comment that probably you're right andrew's father and sister searched his route, usual route but found nothing within three hours of discovering his disappearance a missing person pearson's leaflet was circulated so yeah they smelt something in the atmosphere and went this stinks fair enough three days later they confirmed that he traveled to london god who remembered him declining a return ticket the family distributed flyers around london folks on places andrew might visit like museums yorkshire police asked um i'm from yorkshire bo -bo, uh, asked police transport police to review footage uh, they couldn't identify at first three weeks later after another review footage confirmed andrew at king's cross so three weeks later i mean the police were, they're as useful as a red light in gta you know absolutely pointless than being there you're better off wearing a cape and a cowl and going out finding him yourself family and police considered the possibility that andrew had gone to london to meet someone from the internet however he didn't use a computer had no email and hadn't set up an account on his xbox or psp forensics on school and library computers found no activity dude there's no escaping even in 2008 bro they can find you if you've got an online girlfriend and just want a bit of peace and quiet and you're like, I hate my mum and dad. Yeah, so do I. It's like that South Park episode and they meet each other and they just like, I don't know what to say. Neither do I. Well, I'll just email you again. Yeah, let's just stay pen pal, boyfriend. You know what I mean? That's what's... Anyway, distracted. Sony checked his PSP for a unit and found no online accounts or communication. The only computer in the house was his sister's, which he owned for just eight weeks. After the initial trail went cold, the investigation focused on why, Andrew. Like, how can you only just now go, why did he go... That should be number one. You go, why is he, why is he gone all the way from there to Doncaster then to London? There has to be a reason. You know, oh, he wanted to escape. You don't escape in a city. Do you? You know what I mean? Like that's not normal. Dumb police work again. Family speculate he might have gone sightseeing or 
to see a concert. I mean, yeah, Slipknot, he might have liked them. Were they in the area at the time? That's an interesting one. I, I, I'm sure they looked into that. They looked into concerts happening that night, into including 30 Seconds to Mars, Sick Nick. Yeah, it's, uh, I can't say the words, but no evidence was linked to Andrew. See, and this is where you get fucking crackheads trying to make a quick book. The Times reported 122 possible sightings across Britain with 45 in London and 11 in Brighton. His father mentioned a few credible sightings early on, particularly one at Pizza Hut. Dude, I used to love that ice cream machine, bruh. I would just have one slice of pizza and just eat a day's worth of ice cream, bruh. I'd be buzzing. I'd be fucking crazy. But it's well worth it. Additional unconfirmed sightings include reports of Andrew on Oxford Street and possible in Southwark Park. He was also reported getting off a train in Mort... Mort Lake Station, dressed in warmer clothes. See, this is all just, bull, you know, people just... I saw a little kid, he had square glasses and he was wearing a coat. It could have been him. And they're like, yeah, they'll do. Because they have no other leads. I've seen the Netflix documentary where they fuck up. It was the same. Potentially seen in Covent Gardens involving a woman speaking to a boy resembling Andrew, but he denied to be him. The woman stated that the boy looked like the one on TV. So you had the kid there. He said no. And you went, oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, on your way, little little boy. Dude, you'd be like, nah, stay there. Stay there. I'm going to... I'm, I'm just going right, to... It's here. I'm just going to investigate, just stay there, I'm just going to investigate, you know, you, you wouldn't just let him fuck up once you know it, you know, a 12 year old boy is fucking, you know, I'm, would you? Different strokes for different folks. Kevin Gosden reached out to the gay community to help in finding his son, wow, he's, he's, he's used all, you know, police were useless, white straight men were useless, it's like, God, we've only got one point of call left, guys, where are the gays, present yourself gay men, I am calling you, I need your help. <laughs> They, they considered he might have been struggling with his sexual orientation. Fair enough, fair enough. 2018, so here, here we are. Nearly present, nearly present. Reported an online conversation with a user named Andy Rue who claimed their boyfriend left and needed $200 for rent. Went off for money. They said they had no bank account claimed to have left home at 14. Police investigated but couldn't identify the person. Dude, do a better job then. Yorkshire Police announced the arrest of two... January 11, 2022, so what, 12, 10 years, 10, 12, 10 years, when did he go missing, 2012, 10 years later, announced the arrest of two men, 38 and 45, for kidnapping and human trafficking, linked to anonymous tip, the older man faced charges for indecent images of minors, I presume, I mean, is that right, both were released, by September they were cleared of involvement in the disappearance of him, so wrong place, wrong time, he's still missing, leaving many answers unanswered, why did he go, so they thought, let's have a look at why he went to London, they didn't even you know come to a conclusion why was he in london um that's probably like the main you know main main point of call wouldn't you say like hmm, why did he spend you know take all his money and go to london that seems like a integral part to the story do we not think so it's a worldwide thing everyone knows about this everyone feels bad and and wants to know what happened to him so they you know they've tried showing what he might look like today you know i mean i find that shit quite pointless disappeared when he's 14 oh no he, he was um yeah 2007 so i was right it was about 12 13 years he, he until someone uh, they f thought they found someone but obviously they didn't because they're stupid they were just trying to you know probably do stuff like that so here we go a man visited the police station in herefordshire and used the intercom system to talk to an officer and stated he had information about him the intercom system was in use rather than a staffed reception by the time officer arrived to take the details he'd left the police later appealed for him to get back in touch subsequently and to be the man at police to run after it featured case on the one show he gave details of a possible sighting in shrewsbury it's not been confirmed again just hearsay she say it is interesting though that he came no police were there useless and then he went and never came back something to think about isn't it in 2009 kevin appealed to the gay community yeah, gosden considered possibly that he was struggling with sensual orientation we are pretty open family so have wondered if he was gay or struggling with like sexual and found it too awkward raised. if he is gay we don't have any issue with it he is loved unconditionally by both me and my wife apparently play paid a private company to conduct a sonar search of the river thames using the same technology that is used to locate victims and objects at sea wow Nothing was found. Appealed for information on BBC's flagship current affairs, Panorama. The following year, March 10th anniversary, charity Miss People made Ghost in the Face of Their Find Every Child campaign with God's in featuring on billboards. So, I mean, you've got to feel for the parents. It's just horrible. I mean, you know, I think they'd probably rather, obviously, find out what was happening. I mean, obviously, you don't want him to be dead, but you don't want to spend your whole life wondering where he is, what he's up to, if he's safe, if he's dead, if he's alive, if he's enjoying life, if he's a slave. You know, all these horrible possibilities and opportunities will just spiral in your head 24 days a week, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I mean, goddamn. The family have left kept his room as he left it and not changed the locks on the house as Gosden was known to have taken his key. Gosden bank account has been 
has not been in use since 2007. And here we are again, the older man's connected with possessing indecent images of the child. Yeah, like I said, both men were released under investigation. They are believed to be first arrests made in connection with the disappearance again, you know, 12 years later, 13 years later. Seized multiple devices from the men for forensic end of evidence. The police could take six months to a year to analyse. Said the men remained under investigation that the subsequent were also still in September. It was report that both men had been released without charge and that they were not involved in the disappearance. I just want to comment on this here. So um, a lot of people were, v were voting on Reddit. You know, Reddit's Reddit. You can you can think what you think. Uh, obviously, it doesn't mean this is what happened, but these are sort of what people are thinking. Grooming, optimis opportunistic foul play. Someone saw a little kid on his own with his glasses, said, yeah, I'll take you. Put him in the back of the cab. Never seen again. Suicide. You know, 55 people think it was that. I... I, I, I don't, uh, I think the body would have been found by now, I think he's not a, he was a child, he's not, uh, you know, he might be clever, but he's not a genius, he doesn't know how to get away with these things and not get caught, I presume, run away, eventually he would have been caught, I, I truly believe that, undecided, obviously that's people who can't decide, other comment, so let's see what people have to say, opportunistic foul play, I, I think so as well, so apparently he lost his phone and didn't want it replaced, maybe he still had it and was deflecting the suspicion, that's an interesting theory. Yeah, he could have been lured into London by someone, but he wasn't, yeah. Like it says there, they, they mentioned that he didn't have a computer, he didn't have any online accounts, like he didn't even have an email, for God's sake. How is he going to do stuff like this? Um, Sony checked his PSP, there was no, like, messages and stuff like that. Opportunistic, Andrew was big into music, gaming, London, there's big seat with lots of different events happening, maybe there was something attracting in there, so badly he decided to go AWOL, possibly. Andrew has not spontaneous, but he never rebelled or broke rules. So, you know, there is no answer. Look, we could keep going around this circle because I want to hear what you think. Me personally, I think it was opportunistic. I think someone grabbed him, put him in the back of a ta uh, taxi. I don't know, I keep saying back of a, you know, some sort of car, van, whatever it is. These things happen more often than you realise. And he's gone. You know what I mean? He's disappeared. This is 2008. You know, there is not as many cameras, not as many people who give a shit really as there is now. Um, yeah, let's hope we find him. Obviously, uh, I'll leave links to this information down below. I was going to say if you know anything, but you won't know anything. You know what I mean? If you do know something, fucking go to the police, you dom dom. Let's get this boy found and hope he's okay. But yeah, get your theories in. I want to know what you guys think. He was a quiet kid, someone who didn't do stuff like this, which makes me just think it must have been, must have been some sort of opportunistic foul play because there's no evidence that he went and met anyone and you know did he have a secret phone i don't know you know possibly he's not james bond by the sound of it though so why would he have one of them anyway let me know you guys thoughts guys